Someone just made a couple of bad decisions. Were ethical boundaries crossed when students were given t-shirts to wear during the campaign season? It happened during a school event this week, and the News 4i team's cameras were there to capture it. And that's right. Our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, joining us now. Jeremy, you've been looking into this. That's right. So we put this to News 4's political expert, and he says it's basically bad judgment, mixing students, a school event, and potential campaign materials, especially for an already embattled candidate. It may look like a campaign event for Representative David Byrd, but it's a field trip to the state capitol for seniors at Wayne County High School. All of the students are wearing the same thing, t-shirts with Byrd's campaign logo on the front. Here's a photograph of Byrd himself from another event wearing a shirt with the same logo. Someone just made a couple of bad decisions. So what's the big deal about students during a school event wearing t-shirts with a campaign logo? You've got the candidate logo on the front. Um, I, I would call that advertising. Byrd is running for re-election in the wake of a News 4 I-Team investigation where three women came forward and said when they were teenagers and he was their basketball coach, Byrd sexually touched or propositioned them. Take a listen to who provided the t-shirts, according to this message from the school sent out to all the students before the trip. You will receive your senior 19 t-shirts from Representative Byrd. It's just bad judgment, though, to put students on an official field trip wearing something that could be construed as campaign propaganda. There's also this attorney general's opinion about violation of the Little Hatch Act. It prohibits teachers from performing political campaign duties or functions during those hours of the day when the teacher is required to be performing school duties. The director of schools says no ethical lines were crossed. Quote, there wasn't a campaign speech or anything said to the students, vote for Representative Byrd, or anything that went along with those shirts. They were just provided as a gift to the seniors. Is this a political statement on this shirt? And I'm sure the Byrd campaign will argue that it doesn't. The opposition will argue that it does. And a third party will probably end up deciding it. So we asked the Attorney General's office today about it. They said any question, if the Little Hatch Act was violated, those questions should go to the school board. Representative Byrd did not return our call for comment. In fact, Tom, he's never answered questions from the News 4i team. He only said in a statement after our stories first aired that since he's been in office, he's done nothing wrong. Good stuff, Jeremy Finley, as always.